Focus is on fixing the state's high property taxes, but it's not without some pushback. Brian Mastery is live with the details of the plan. Hey, Brian. Hey, Jacqueline, John, around 17 senators have been meeting this summer trying to figure out the best path forward. But even today, the governor was short on specifics, saying it's up to the legislative body to hash out the details. But remember, it's something they couldn't do this spring. Governor Pillen said that everything is on the table except groceries and medicine. One senator told me he's expecting as many as 80 bills to be introduced a week from today, and every single one of them will get a public hearing. And anything that gets to the floor will likely be filibustered. If you want to stifle the growth of your state, have the highest property tax. Governor Jim Pillen came armed with poster boards and props with what he calls an out of control collision with our pocketbooks. His ultimate goal, cut Nebraskans property taxes on average by 50%. I have great confidence in all of our partners in the Unicameral that uh, we will solve the crisis. He had the same idea this spring when lawmakers were in their regular session, but he couldn't find consensus. This time he's wrapped the idea around schools and the largest line item on our property tax bill. The governor believes that if the state fully funds schools, that's half the battle. It's time the state quits quitting on kids. It was astonishing to me when I learned that out of 244 school districts, the state of Nebraska provided no funding to 180 of them. Zero. But here's where it starts to get messier, say opponents. The plan still involves raising taxes on cigarettes, vaping, and alcohol, and sales tax exemptions that are currently in place on 120 types of items and services, ranging from farm equipment to attorneys, may be added back to the books. Today, Omaha Mayor Jean Stothert said she embraces the idea of property tax reform, but questions a lack of thought, analysis, or even discussion with local governments and the unintended consequences. Omaha brings in around $225 million in property taxes, spending most of it on police and fire and the roads. The governor today also unveiled a portal, an online portal on the state website where we can type in our address and find out what type of property tax cut we'd see as the state takes over school funding. So I did a bunch of examples into this portal. I typed in properties from across the metro and different parts of the state. For example, those in the Omaha Public School District generally saw a 38% drop. A 60-acre farm in Bennington had a 41% drop. A home in the middle of Harrison, Nebraska, that's in the farthest northwest corner of the state, 26%. Pillen Family Farms headquarters in Columbus, 48%. I'm told all of these would be higher in year three and that the agriculture, the land, will see the biggest cuts. We have a link on that portal if you want to check out your home at WOWT.com. On your side, Brian Mastry, 6 News.